Jordan Khan from Carbon LB here, and I'm going to be doing a video review on the Sector 9 Aperture. Um, this is a great board, and I think many of you will like it. Um, this board features the Go-Wing Sidewinder truck, so they have a double kingpin, which makes turning really easy, really fast. You can make great sharp turns, um, which makes it great for downhill, sliding, you know, just cruising around, all that. Um, it features regular Sector 9 69 millimeter ADA wheels. Um, they're all right. Um, you know, they, they do just fine. Although, if you want to do sliding or you know better downhill, I would switch on to some other wheels. And I do recommend some orangutans. Um, I like the Durans. I got purples on here, and they're really great wheels. Um, overall, this board is, in my opinion, a phenomenal board. Um, you know, it does great for, you know, I do a little sliding, you know, downhill, you know, just cruising around town. Um, it's, a, it's a good commuter board because it's not super long. Um, and overall, I'm very happy with this board. Um, it doesn't really matter, but the graphic on the bottom is pretty cool as well. Um, but that's kind of relevant board. Um, the grip tape is pretty good I must say. I've had it for about five, six months now and it is still hanging up pretty well. Um, the only bad thing about these Sec 9 boards often they have you know this, this thing right here, this sticker and if you want to you know put your grip tape on if you want to replace it you know you actually got to cut out or you got to actually buy a Sec 9 grip tape which can be very expensive and kind of a hassle. Um, but overall, this is a great board. Um, the flex is pretty good. Um, you can bottom out if you're really trying to, but if you're not trying to, you probably won't. Um, but it's it's nice for doing little tricks. Um, these little you know like nudges and things that come in here are nice for doing tricks like kick flips and stuff like that. You know more technical tricks um, as opposed to like sliding and stuff. Uh, it is concave which is nice and it you know gives you good grip on the board for doing slides and stuff um, stand ups are an ease with this board as well as you know slides are going to put your hands down and stuff like that um, the drop through trucks are kind of nice because you know it's more stable because you know you're a little bit closer to the ground but you have that stability just from the the truck actually being like integrated into the board which is nice. Um, the only downside to that is that if you want to replace the trucks, it's kind of more hassle. And these trucks don't really work well on other boards that are not designed to have the sidewinders. Um, some of the cons to this board are, as I already said, this sticker here with the grip tape. The grip tape is pretty good, but it does wear off eventually. Um, the bearings that come with the board kind of suck, but you know, as most stock bearings, they're usually not that great. Um, but besides that, there really aren't very many other cons to this board, and it's a very good positive board. It was about 189 off Amazon.com, um, which is great, and it's got free shipping, which is nice. And you probably can also get it at your local skate shop for around the same price. Um, thanks, guys. This is Orn Khan from Carbon LB, and. Uh, I hope to see you again soon. Um, we're gonna be doing lots, lot more, you know, reviews, videos, trick tips, stuff like that. Um, we're coming out with a new main video soon. Um, so, you know, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.